the image makers, the designer-photographer partnerships that change the world. The way in which a fashion label presents itself to the world can be just as important as the garments it makes. Before a customer gets anywhere near the clothes, chances are they'll have some impression of the brand's broader image. That means a designer's work must be backed up with a strong and distinctive advertising campaign to generate a dedicated audience. However, creating a unique and original image which projects wide appeal and an underlying aura of exclusivity is far from an easy task. And this is when the world's top tier fashion photographers rise above the rest. By capturing the spirit of a brand along with a designer's vision, they present the clothing in a way that's both inspiring, enticing and recognisable over a prolonged period of time. Let's look at some of fashion's most successful collaborations between design houses and world's high-end photographers, exploring how the magic touch of the top-tier fashion photographers can turn a little-known atelier into an instantly recognisable icon. Examining the influential brands and the photographers that became synonymous with them. The following is a breakdown of how creative execution can develop into a world-famous signature brand image over time. Hello, I'm Paul Roberts. I'm the founder of Fashion Industry Broadcast. And in today's film, I'm excited to release the very next episode of our popular series, The Image Makers on these incredible partnerships between the world's most brilliant fashion designers and the world's most genius fashion photographers. It's all about this special alchemy when you get two creative forces coming together to really experience and witness a magical combustion. But before we start, what I'd like to do is ask a small favour. Now, our YouTube channel is close to 100,000 subscribers and we value each and every one of them. So if you value this episode or you value and have liked some of our other episodes, I would love if you could like it, um, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when the next um, episode is coming out. And please comment. Uh, we read all the comments. I personally read all the comments. We love to hear what you think, if there's any other ideas for films that you'd like us to cover. Thank you. Today's episode is one I've always wanted to tell and it's an incredible partnership between Muccia Prada, the, the, the chief CEO, chief visionary, um, and creative force behind the Prada Empire, and New York-based photographer Stephen Mizell. Now, Stephen Mizell was born on the June 5th, 1954, and he's an iconic and influential fashion photographer, known for his incredible editorials with publications such as Italian Vogue, but he's also been partners with, with many of the world's best fashion houses. And they've had long going uh, collaborations with him. He's obviously someone who's very in demand and models, designers, everybody, magazines, everybody wants to work with him. He's one of the most, I guess, famous and legendary fashion photographers on the planet, or on the, in the world today. It's appreciation of talent, you know, and it, you just, you don't even think about it. I mean, I don't even think about it. I just know that whenever I work with everyone, it'll always come out perfect. So, well, as, as good as we can make it on that day. That he feels, and the girls that no one else would look at, and he makes them stars. Brings it to mark and fashion, a direction of where we're gonna go, and he brings in a lot of new looks. Like he's known bringing in new girls. You know, he was the first person that I really worked with. You know, he was the reason why I started modeling. But this particular episode, we want to focus on the long, long history of Mizell and Prada and what they managed to do, especially in the early years. And we're talking here, you know, a collaboration partnership that spans not only years, but decades, campaign after campaign. And when I was reviewing this and doing the research on it, it was amazing to notice that almost generations of supermodels had passed you know, through his hands. The very first collaborations he was doing 
with Prada were featuring the original 90s supermodels, the Trinity, you know, Christy Turlington, Naomi Campbell and Linda Evangelista. And then almost year by year, he was obviously working with the very best. Now, Maisel is known for his distinct style and his ability to capture captivating and thought-provoking images. Maisel began his career in the late 1970s and quickly gained recognition for his innovative approach. And his work has appeared everywhere, from prestigious magazines such as Vogue Italia, Vogue US, W Magazine, and literally hundreds of the other premier magazines on the planet. Prada, I'm sure you know, was found by Mario Prada. It was originally called Fratelli Prada, which means the Brothers Prada. <clears throat> and it's a renowned luxury label founded in 1913. Um, known for its you know, cutting edge designs and fabrications and, and avant-garde aesthetic, Prada became synonymous with sophistication and elegance. And over the years, the, the brand has expanded to include clothing, accessories, fragrances, eyewear, um, sports lines. <clears throat> but it was under the guidance and creative direction of female Muccia Prada, not a brother, <clears throat> which is probably something of a break in the tradition for the, this Italian house. She was the leading force in the fashion industry who has built Prada into one of the most luxurious and largest conglomerates on the planet. And in this episode, I want to look at some of the specific campaigns. And there are literally hundreds of them uh, between Muccia, Muccia Prada and Stephen Mizell. It's a really fascinating, you know, collaboration. Their partnership, both created geniuses in their own right, but it's incredible, when, it's like the Beatles, when you put two incredible geniuses together, you don't just get two incredible geniuses, you get some sort of weird alchemy that produces something of another higher level. And that's exactly what happened with Prada and Mizell. 
Mizell's career extends beyond his collaboration with Prada. He's worked with pretty much everybody. You know, he worked with Calvin Klein, he worked with Dolce & Gabbana, Versace, Louis Vuitton, um, and on and on and on. He's, he's one of the most recognisable photographers on the planet. and has been for many decades. Now his work is probably characterised by his ability to capture the essence of his subjects, often blurring the lines between fashion and art. And his styles could vary wildly. He didn't have just one look or one particular gimmick. He could morph and change. I remember the, the campaign he did with Calvin Klein, which looked like a 1970s porn set, you know, with really cheap wooden panelling in the background. And, and you would look at it and think, that's not Stephen Mizell, but that was his genius. He was a, he was a chameleon and he could change his look, uh, obviously through his technical excellence and brilliance. Let's explore some of the specific campaigns that they've worked on together. And ironically, I'll start way back, 1988. Probably many of you watching this weren't even around in 1988. You probably had parents that were barely around in 1988. But that's when he was starting. And it marked the beginning of Mizell's collaboration with Prada. And as I said before, featured in this campaign, this legendary campaign, this debut campaign, were the original 390 supermodels, the Trinity. Christy Turlington, Naomi Campbell, and a very young Linda Evangelista. And you can see by the campaign, it was very minimalist, very austere. And obviously the, the girls themselves, you know, could perform magic. The second one was in the fall, winter of 1988 and Mizell continued to capture Prada's understated elegance in this campaign. And the models showcased in this campaign were Hurston Owen and Yasmin Le Bon in tailored suits and refined silhouettes. Then it was spring-summer 1989, and Mizell's creative vision took a playful turn in this campaign. His images featured models such as Kirsten Owen, again Christy Turlington, and again Linda Evangelista, in vibrant and eclectic outfits capturing the Prada's eclectic approach to fashion. Then there was fall 1989, and Mizell and Prada explored a darker, more edgy aesthetic in this campaign. The photographs showcased models like Linda Evangelista and Kirsten Owen in black and white, highlighting Prada's avant-garde designs once more. 
Then there was spring summer 1990 and the con collaboration continued. In this campaign there was a bold mix of colours and graphic prints and the images featured models like Christy Turlington, Linda Evangelista and again Naomi Campbell, the Trinity. And it was probably one of the reasons why those three girls became so big and so famous because they had a platform like this with a genius photographer and they were the faces or some of the preferred faces for Michu Prada. And Prana was taking ads and advertising in magazines all around the globe and you know, outdoor advertising and editorial and they were on TV shows. <clears throat> and it was probably part of the reason why these girls became so famous. Then there was Fall Winter 1990, and this was influenced by, uh, I guess, a 1950s nod to film noir. Um, again, it was Linda Evangelista, Christy Turlington, in retro-inspired design, showcasing Prada's ability to blend classic and contemporary elements. And all this while, I mean, all three, I guess, component parts of these incredible campaigns were being elevated and elevated. There was Prada being elevated, there was Mizell's genius being elevated, and then the models they were being elevated too. And all three of them <clears throat> became, you know, uh, a conduit to support the others and their fame and, I guess, legend, legends. Then it was spring, summer 1991, and Marcel's lens took centre stage in this campaign, featuring Christy Turlington, Naomi Campbell, in unconventional and theatrical poses. And the images again displayed Prada's ability to push the boundaries of fashion. Then there was Fall Winter 1991. Mizell and Prada created a campaign that explored the juxtaposition of masculine and feminine elements showcased more supermodels, Christy Turlington again, Linda Evangelista again, but this time in tailored suits and feminine dresses. Spring Summer 1994, the campaign is often regarded as one of the most significant collaborations between Mizell and Prada. It featured a series of black and white photographs showcasing a minimalist aesthetic with models that included uh, the debut of the legendary Kate Moss, Amber Valletta, one of my favourites of all time, and Naomi Campbell. Then there was Fall Winter 1996, and Mizell's creative genius was on full display once more. The images captured a cinematic and slightly surreal atmosphere, blending elements of retro and futuristic styles. And the campaign featured models like Kirsty Union, Missy Rader, and Stella Tennant. Then spring summer 2000, <clears throat> the collaboration with Prada continued to evolve and this campaign exemplified their ability to create visually striking images. The campaign showcased a mix of vibrant colours, bold patterns and unconventional poses and the models this time were Adriana Lima, Carmen Cass and Guinevere Van Sinas.
Then, spring summer 1998, the unconventional poses and compositions continued, and bringing back you know, models like Amber Valletta and her best friend Shalom Hala in dynamic and expressive shots. Uh, Amber Valletta and Shalom Hala were always two of my favourite models. And capturing Prada's ability to create visually striking images. And these were just some of the hundreds, literally hundreds of campaign collaborations that they did, I think, close to three decades. And Stephen Mizell, and I hope you know more about his work from this film and Prada, their partnership has continued to evolve and produce captivating imagery that pushes the boundaries of fashion and art. So which were some of your favourites? Let us know, put it in the comments. And if you have a photographer and fashion designer partnership you'd like to see us explore and film, let us know and we'd love to do that for you. Thank you.